Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today LEGO has officially unveiled the latest idea set, this is the 21344 Orient Express. The set has 2540 pieces and will be available from the 1st of December for 300 euros or dollars. You can find the link above or below for all local prices. A few months ago I had the opportunity to see the train in person at LEGO Fan Media Days and talk to the Ideas Design team about it. The photos you will see here are from that interview, but I will also be using photos and videos from the official press pack. I haven't built the set myself yet, the full building review will come soon. I will now share all the interesting details I learned from the design team and also talk about the fact that often happens with Ideas sets but this time literally exploded the LEGO train forums in the last weeks and caused endless debates, the obvious differences between the original submission and the final result. Let's get started. So, this set is being released to celebrate the 140th anniversary of the Orient Express. In case you don't know it, the Orient Express was a train that ran from Paris to Istanbul for more than 80 years. Then the route was changed several times and the service was discontinued in 2009, the vintage carriages were bought and restored by a company called Belmont, which currently operates the Orient Express in various destinations. Another thing worth mentioning, this set has nothing to do with the books or films about the Orient Express. I think this little bit of background information was necessary to understand that the Orient Express is not or was not a single specific train with a single locomotive, but that there were many different configurations over the years. Now let's see the box. We get a nice dark blue locomotive, a tender and two wagons as well as 8 minifigures. The black background this time really matches the luxurious vibe of the subject. The back of the box focuses on the cars and there are more pictures at the bottom showing us some of the interior details. We have two 8 stud white carriages, a sleeper and a dining car with their function written on them in French. The designers wanted to include these as the most iconic of the cars the original had about 15-17 of them by the way. Most of the texts and logos you see on the outside are printed. We have the city names where the train stops, the Orient Express logo, the serial number which is a little easter egg because that's the set number. The only stickers on the outside are those on the underside of the doors which can be opened by the way. So the top of the cars can be removed this way and we can take a look inside. Most of the exterior is the same, there are only small differences but the interior is very different. The sleeper car has a beautiful first class bedroom with a larger bed, a table with a typewriter, a separate bathroom with all appliances, decorated mirror stickers and some nice styling on the floor. There is a special spherical mirror above the bed which you can even see on the Orient Express website. On the other side there are more beds and another easter egg. This Bagaman set with a sticker can be bought on the official website, I mean the original one. The dining car has a bar station at one end and two tables with dark green accents and with lots of different cups, saucers and plates. There are some very nice sticker decorations, like these wood veneer panels at one end or the large frosted glass behind the bar. The design comes from the original train but has been made into a Lego version with Lego grapes and birds. There are also large stickered wood veneer decorations at the ends of the cars. The window construction of the cars has a new element that was needed for the build and 24 new gold window frames were used. Now for the locomotive. It has a similar color scheme, dark blue with gold accents. 52 is a nod to the set itself as this is the 52nd LEGO Ideas release. The number 52 and the Sapphire Star nameplates are both stickers. We have some interesting part usage here, dark blue minion heads, gold minifigure pens and so on. There is a brand new specific part, the functional coupling rod piece. It is molded in silver color and there are 4 pieces in the set. Hopefully the LEGO train community will be happy about it. The tender is pretty simple and mostly hollow inside to save weight. I know what train fans would like to know at this point. Unfortunately the set is not powered up ready, there is no official motorization. According to the IDS team, they really tried all available motor and battery box combinations, tested them for months and also compared them to the Crocodile locomotive, but the train is just too heavy and didn't have the required power. As they said, the weight is about double of the regular powered city trains. It was a difficult decision because the designer really wanted it to work, but they didn't want to sacrifice a car for the possibility of motorization. Of course, that doesn't mean we can't try it out. Be sure to subscribe because I will show you a lot in my detailed building review. 
As for the minifigures, there are some new prints. Thomas the fan designer is here with a camera. This is Pippin Reed as a little easter egg from the adventures theme. And we have more passengers and train workers. And now for the most difficult part. Why does this set look so different from the original submission? I've read hundreds of comments from LEGO train fans. Some like it and are happy to see a detailed train that isn't part of the city theme, but there are also plenty of negative comments, especially about the locomotive. Honestly, I'm not surprised, because the original submission contained a specific French locomotive that was very detailed and looked very impressive, and well, the one we have here is, shall we say, less impressive. Well, first of all, the original submission was a static display piece that simply couldn't run on the standard LEGO track system and only had one car to keep it below the 3000 piece limit of IDS submissions. The LEGO designers could have made new pieces of course, but this is where the whole licensing thing comes in. The Orient Express is all about the travel experience, with a focus on the cars and not really the locomotive. The real train never had its own locomotive, but used all kinds of them in the different countries. I suspect that LEGO train fans voted for this submission mainly because of the impressive French Pacific locomotive, but apparently the focus of the licensing partner and therefore the designers was mainly on the cars. This 460 layout has been used in virtually every LEGO steam train set since Emerald Knight from 2009, so it's perhaps not quite as impressive, and according to some people it's not even proportional. Honestly, I'm not a train expert, I think it looks good, but I also understand the disappointment of LEGO train fans. By the way, it is a mixture of different locomotives from the history of the Orient Express from the early 900s, it is not a special model, the name Sapphire Star was also invented by the designers. The change in color scheme was mainly suggested by the IP partner, and the logo on the side is also the modern version. While I would have loved to see an impressive locomotive like this as an official LEGO set, I also understand the compromises that come with an IP partnership, and I think the end result will still look good on the tracks. I won't give my final verdict until I've built the set. I will of course show you every detail of the process, test it on the tracks, and ask you to let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you would like to see. Please also share your opinion, what are your impressions, how do you like the details, what do you think about the change? Let's talk about it. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications because there are more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.